Omega was placed in a cell on Bane's ship with a ray shield blocking her exit. However, she was able to escape when she tricked Todo 360 into letting her out to help him repair his leg. Omega searched for her comm device as Bane's ship landed at a facility on Bora Vio, fleeing the ship after Bane went into the hold to look for Todo, who had been unresponsive. Omega contacted the Bad Batch, but she did not know where she was and the group could not pinpoint her location. Tech tried to talk her through how to help them find her, but Bane caught up to her and cuffed her, stomping on and destroying her comm device. As Omega was forcefully dragged by Bane, he spotted Tornwee's corpse, the Kaminoan who was supposed to meet him and deliver his payment. Omega recognized her and was horrified. Taking cover, Omega watched as Bane and Fennec Shand, the bounty hunter who had pursued her on Pantora, face off. As the two fought, Omega fled finding herself in a room with several clones in tubes. She was able to access a computer to send out a signal that her team would eventually recognize, but Shand soon caught up to her. Shand told her that she was trying to help her, but Omega pointed out that she had said the same thing on Pantora. They were interrupted by Todo, who Shand quickly smashed against one of the tubes and incapacitated. Returning to the computer, Omega caused the tube to crack and eventually spilled its contents onto Shand giving Omega time to escape. Omega tried to descend a ladder, but she was hampered by her handcuffs and eventually hounded by Todo. Omega ended up jumping on top of the butler droid and descending rapidly to a platform. Omega noticed several Kaminoan flight pods and used one to escape the facility. Just as the engines began to fail, the Marauder located her and picked her up, and Omega was reunited with the team. A tearful Omega hugged her companions, asking why the Kaminoans were sending so many hunters after her. Echo told Hunter that he had to tell her what they had learned about her, and he explained she was an unmodified clone, making her important to the Kaminoans. That night, Omega and Hunter sat in the cockpit. Omega said that she could not sleep because she was thinking about the Kaminoans and how they could not fight off all of the hunters that would always be after her. Hunter reassured her and promised that she would never go back to Kamino, making her smile.